It's love and peace. So not ignoring you guys. I'm just going to work as I talk because I'm a bit behind on my videos. So I want to make sure that I get this information out to you guys. If you saw my short earlier, I asked the question about do you trust your uh, primary care provider or your health care provider? And if you don't, there's a problem. The reason why I say that is it's a problem because when you invest in a health care provider, you want them to invest back into you, meaning your health. You want the best for your health care, absolutely the best. So you have to be very mindful of who you choose as your health care provider. Referrals are good. They're good to a point. Now, if you have multiple chronic conditions, like you have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, any kidney disease, you want to make sure you're with the right people, the right specialist, the right primary care that's going to check you over from front to back, head to toe. Because if anything is missed, that can be detrimental to your health. So be very aware of who you choose as a healthcare provider. There is um, ways to check reviews. I always check reviews. Always, always, always check reviews online to see um, if your healthcare provider has good reviews, bad reviews. Um, for instance, I moved to Las Vegas about a year ago and I was looking for a OBGYN because I prefer to see an OBGYN for my OBGYN um, health, just basically pap smears. And um, because the primary care, they don't usually invest in your health for GYN issues, gynecological issues, because of the fact that that's not their specialty. So I wanna see the specialist. I want someone who specializes in that area of care. And that's just my personal preference. Um, so always GYN will check you for pap smear, check for cervical cancer. Um, things like that, anything that's abnormal in that area. If you have questions, um, concerns about their birth control, things like that, that's the person you really, really want to see. Um, a primary care provider, they certainly can address um, birth control as well, but I want the specialist who does this day in, day out, because I trust them with their knowledge, their expertise, their education, um, and I just want overall good care. You know, we pay for it. Health insurance is expensive, especially now, even more expensive. So I definitely want to be with the right person. Be the right person who's going to provide the best care for me and my family. Um, just like for my kids, I see a pediatrician because pediatrics is a very specialized area of care uh, for children. Um, generally, pediatrics or pediatricians see kids from the age of birth until up to 21. Some people cut it off at 18, but up to 21 is usually um, how uh, the age, the max age where they'll see him. Um, like for my oldest kid, he was able to see his pediatrician up until the age of 20. And now that he is almost 21, he's got to find a primary care provider for adults. So, or family practice provider, um, because they see you from birth to death so um but yeah you gotta you gotta trust who you see when i moved i searched and searched and searched OBGYN was locked up there was no openings for months and so i decided on a um a internal medicine provider who specialized in women's health and not a good experience not a good experience at all um because of the fact bedside manner was horrible I don't mention that I work in healthcare because I don't want people to judge me based on that or to um, lack in care or over um, perform care because of my status in the healthcare field. I just keep quiet until I see something that is incorrect or I need to question something. Um, but yeah, you gotta invest in your healthcare. You have to invest in your healthcare and find the right person who's gonna care for you, who's not gonna miss things. Things do happen where everything can't be caught but you have to find somebody who will invest in you. They will allow you to ask questions. They will give you the floor, basically give you time to ask those questions. You're, they're not um, rushing you through 10 minute appointment. You don't get to ask any questions. You don't get to ask, inquire about medications, anything like that. The nursing field is different, meaning nurse practitioners generally take more time to explain things because we're natural educators. Um, that's how our course of nursing has gone, is we're natural educators. And I applaud the nursing field, and I'm glad that I've taken this path um, in healthcare because I like to educate. I like for people to understand. 
I don't want to mislead anyone in their health care. For one, I don't want a malpractice lawsuit on me. And thank goodness I've never had a malpractice suit against me. Um, but I mean, things happen. Things happen. You will not catch every single thing. So invest in the right healthcare provider, but don't expect them to know every single aspect of you. You need to do your research as well. If you feel like something isn't right, your questions aren't being asked, then inquire. Ask those questions at your appointment. Ask to the, the uh, provider through phone, email, you know, secure email. Um, there are a number of different ways to get in contact with your provider. Sometimes it takes long, but if you're just getting the runaround, don't accept that. Don't accept anything less than what you deserve, okay? If you have questions, just general questions, let me know, ask them in the comments, or you can email me at vitalsignhealth at gmail.com. I wanna invest in you guys and bring you information that I know that I can share. Um, so if you don't feel comfortable asking your question out loud, email it to me, okay? I'm more than happy to help, but I can't go into any extensive um, explanations on things, just the basics, you know, about healthcare in general or something that you've been experiencing. You feel like things aren't right. You need a second opinion and you just want my quick opinion, you know, on something. Just let me know. I'm more than willing to, have to help, um, more than willing to do that for you. Um, because like I said, I want to invest in your health. I want to make sure everybody is um, receiving the appropriate care that they need, that you deserve. You know, we deserve to be healthy, happy. Um, Well-being, you know, is important for us. Do not scam on your health care. It's important that you stay healthy out here. I'm going to keep bringing it to you guys every single day. So continue to watch, like, share, follow me. All right. I appreciate you all. Have a great day.